Welcome to our Digital Towers series from Saab Digital Air Traffic Solutions, in which we will share our latest thoughts on remote and digital towers, which is our passion. ESTAS is a joint venture between Saab and LFE, the ANSP of Sweden, combining technological edge and operational expertise. First, aviation air traffic management is facing unprecedented challenges now, and most probably for many years ahead. Our ambition is to continue to support and enable regional and global aviation to get back in operation and to develop and to continue to connect people and our societies. But of course now all our thought goes to the most vulnerable and those helping out in these difficult times. My name is Niklas Gustafsson, I'm the Vice President Business Development at Estats and been working with digital and remote towers since it came about in the early times of the 21st century. It's fantastic that things can move from an idea into operation in less than 10 years. That's a great achievement. I will share some of the main experiences from having delivered and operated the digital tower since 2015, from the first airports in Sweden with Örnsköldsvik, Sundsvall and Linköping, into the first airport in the UK at Cranfield, and back to the award-winning Scandinavian Mountains Airport that started operation in December this year, or last year, 2019. I will also connect uh, some of the feedback from my colleagues in the US to hear what has come out of their work uh, with the digital tower technology. Sometimes we talk about accumulated numbers of movements and hours in operation. The Saab R Tower system in use are now well above 50 to 60,000 movements. It's uh, more than 30,000 uh, hours with constant service. So it works and the controllers are embracing the concept. So that's just the first key. Let's try to find the top things to take away from our digital or remote tower projects when it comes to lessons learned from introducing and operating the digital tower or even a central tower. But first, to start with a few reflections of things that has been sort of core guiding principle for our work at Estats when it comes to introducing and getting acceptance for digital towers. First, keep an open door policy. To see is to believe. Invite the operational people, the managers, the technician and safety experts to the center. There's no PowerPoint in the world that can replace that. So far, we have met over 5,000 colleagues from over 60 countries and we learn every time from those meetings. Keep it simple, make sure to focus on getting things into operations with functions you need to have rather than nice to have. It saves you time and it gets a much better transition. And then of course safety first, take no shortcuts. Uh, then let's ask our chief of operations in Sundsvall, Mr. Erik Beckman, about his view or key findings. Erik is currently running the remote center in Sundsvall, operating four airports simultaneously. Uh, the controllers here in RTC Sundsvall has a benefit of have the possibility or they have also a chance to work at more airports, not just the one and only airport they worked on before, or in this environment they can have multiple endorsements to provide service for, let's say, this new airport, Scandinavian Mountain Airport, as well. Uh, other benefits are you know, you're never alone in this environment. You have al always a controller performing service for, a, for another airport side by side. So you can call for help and they can be supportive in case of uh, critical situations. I would think when you knew from the beginning, it is that you watch monitors instead of glass windows. That is the first sort of obstacle you have to get your mind around. Once you're over that, it's not a huge difference. We have smart built-in safety nets that are very handy for us. We have good features like uh, the pan tilt zoom camera that will give us very detailed information. We have the filters as opposed to a conventional tower. You can see through these transparent filters. And in the future, there's also smart add-ons you can have uh, as uh, overlays, uh, box and following, etc. I made a mental note of one of the statements made by one of the, fir one of the first controllers using the system and he said, well, isn't it harder than this? Well, Rob Abbott, Cranfield University Airport, you've been running Saab R Tower at Cranfield since 2018. Uh, what are your five lessons learned or recommendations or thoughts to others to share about operating a digital tower services at the site compared to a traditional tower? Well, my first point would be that 
this project will change every aspect of the tower. And remember, it's a full tower build. It's not just about the screens. Um, it is everything that you need to run a new tower. My second point is, regardless of the level of uh, technology and the age of your current tower, a remote tower will change how controllers control. And they're partly de defined by the technology, but equally how the team wants to use it. So screens with shallow aperture will create a large airy room like we have, which has given us significant operational um, enhancements now because we can stay further apart in these, in these current uh, testing times, which wasn't a consideration at the beginning. So my point too is let the design define where you put the tower and don't try and squeeze the tower into a small area or a building before you've come up with the overall requirement. I think both points above that I've just spoken to as a main undercurrent that the project is, is really about a change management process. If you don't engage with the technology and with the change, people can become naturally nervous of the change. And we must remember that it's such a huge change that some people move at different speeds to others. So my po third point is really, don't say as a business, this is what the business has decided we're going to do. Try and engage the staff early and say, this is what we want to do together with you, not to you. Because my fourth point is, being engaged with what's to come before, as in learning from other people's experiences, and discussing your views and opinions, some that have already been discounted for legitimate reasons, but others which have never been considered, will really enable you to evolve your tower and the operation into what is needed for you in the future. My fifth point really is trying to squeeze the old tower operations into a new tower does not work. So all of the points above have led you to an understanding, hopefully, that you have to change your whole operation, not every single procedure, but how you approach the operation. Talking to my sub colleagues in the US yesterday and the great work being done there about Digital Tower, their lessons learned points uh, was the importance of airspace integration, control training, the human in the loop aspect, as well as the sheer appreciation of the basic digital tools like box and follow, overlays, PDZ, uh, with the infrared as well. Understanding the operation, the safety and regulatory aspects of digital towers are part of the DNA of ESTATS. In order to provide the full benefits, benefits of our combined technical and operational knowledge to our customers, ESTATS was certified as an ANS provider in 2019. That's part of our long-term strategy to innovate the industry. We are currently operating the center in Sundsvall with four airports, so working with ESTATS means both technical and operational innovations. This was acknowledged by the community when ESTATS and Scandinavian Mountains Airport won the CANSO Maverick Award in the field of ATM innovation this year. A new built airport with a digital tower and remote tower service from day one, and it was an ATC service on demand from a central tower. So back to the top five lessons learned and the takeaways. Working in a digital tower is no major change from a traditional tower, but there's better tools. Uh, the controller will perform more or less the same work. There's no big bang activity. Working in a center of tower provides an attractive environment for the staff, creating a team feeling and the ability to enrich the work content. The change is more than updating a system. The airspace, the airport procedures, the safety and regulatory aspects and the regulatory approvals and the way of working is an integrated part and they need to come together. Think big, start small. If, as a first step, only include what is needed and add functions based on operational experience. This will make the transition more efficient and minimize the regulatory impact. Even with the first set of digital support tools like Box and Follow, Overlays and PDZ, it will add safety and efficiency, and that's just the beginning of the story of digitalization of towers. So, five years of operations and the Estas family is growing. Next, we will see more airports being controlled using Solve our tower. And most important, more fantastical people becoming digital tower champions. Thank you very much.